Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Teach Yourself Excel lesson number 11. This is on how to save a file. So if you want to follow along with the lesson, you go to ExcelExperts.com, choose Teach Yourself Excel, and select Excel lesson 11, save a file, and you can download a sheet to practice with and get step-by-step -step instructions of how to do this. So let's go to our spreadsheet. I'm assuming that you've been following along with this from the beginning and you should have something that looks like this. Notice it'll say book one, book two, book three, one of those. Um, that's the default name that Excel gives to a new workbook. If I press Control N, you'll notice that that says book four. So if I carry on doing that, every new workbook will have a different name. I digress. So we've got book three and we want to save it. So if I were to close Excel right now and not save it, all of this data and all of the work that we've just done is completely lost forever. So how to save it? If I have a new workbook that I've been working on and it hasn't been saved already, if I press Control S, it brings up this dialog box here, which suggests that we should save it as something. So I know that I'm creating an expense tracker, so I'll call it expense example. So I click save, don't worry about that, just continue. And that is now saved. The reason I know it's saved is because the name isn't book three anymore, it's called expense tracker example.xls. If I make a change to it, that change hasn't been saved unless I press Control S. Let's do that now. Control S. Just click off that. That save has now been, that change has now been saved. So if I were to close this, so I'll go close and then go open it, it will bring back the spreadsheet with the changes saved. Let's say I change that to true and I close it and I don't save the changes and I open it again. Guess what? It reverts to when we last saved it, clearly. So let's have uh, a bit more of an intuition on saving. This is how to save as a new name. If I press in sequence, Alt F A, it brings up this, which says save as. I can then type expense tracker example hyphen one. So I was happy with the first version, or I could call it two. And this is now the second version. I've made some changes and I want, I want to keep a history just in case I've really messed something up and I can then go back to the previous version and bring that back and then progress on that one. So I click Save. Notice that name will change. Saving do's and don'ts. Save every time you're happy with a change. So if you were to enter uh, a new expense, 12 May 07, choose from your drop down computer was it necessary yes it was um, and this is hard disk and it cost me 50 and I'm happy with that change I would save control s that saves the change very important save whenever you're happy with the change that you've made it's very quick to do if your spreadsheet is not too enormous and you should should really do that as, as best practice. You, so use as many words as you need to describe your file. Describe your file effectively. I've called mine expense tracker example. I now know exactly what this is if I were to see it in my browser. Use a file name that you can remember. It's very important when trying to bring back your files. Separate separate the, uh, the words in, in your file name by a hyphen or don't use a hyphen at all just use um, capital letter for each word that's another way of doing it or, or space but hyphen generally is, is probably the best way every time you s you make a change if you want to save that 
um, that history, Alt F A, increment the number at the end. Another thing you can do, Alt F A, is to put a a timestamp. So in this case, it would be 2009 and then 0608. What that stands for is 2009 is the year, 06 is the month, and 08 is the day. So when I go to my browser and I sort by name, not date modified, by name, it will appear in the order in which I've made the versions. So that can be quite useful because if you sort, if you try and sort by date modified and you go back to an old version, you make a change to it, date modified will change. This way allows you to to control that yourself. So that can be a useful thing to do if you want to track the different versions. Don't in your file saving, don't use the word final or new. It's never going to be the final. You'll you'll just continue uh, making changes to it. Um, new, well, it's only going to be new for as long as it's new. Um, that'll that'll change very quickly. Just use a number and increment it, or a date stamp, or even a time stamp. Don't worry about using a long name if you need to, and don't overwrite an existing file. So if I were to choose Expense Tracker two and save. Well, this already exists, this file with this name. So I'm trying to save three as two. I don't want to do that. So only save over something if you're absolutely sure that that's what you intended to do. Do you want to replace the file? No, I made a mistake. Don't store your files all over the place. Just keep them in one directory, um, in my documents or in a folder under my documents, my documents, Excel or somewhere where you know that you can find them. Be organized and, and put them in the right folders. And most importantly, if you don't follow this advice, don't cry if you lose your spreadsheet and all of your data. You've been listening to excelexperts.com on how to save a file.